Diseases among bees. Today I'd like to talk about some of the diseases bees have and the function they serve in their lives as part of nature's wisdom. Nature, as a very complex and incredibly wise entity, has to fulfill its laws in order to function in a balanced way. Let us deepen and try to understand this beautiful complexity of nature and focus on the different diseases among bees that are clearly part of nature. Viruses, bacteria, fungi and parasites are all included as part of nature and cause different diseases that attack bees in various situations. They constantly exist and their role is to keep nature in its vitality. What does it mean to keep nature vital? It means that all bee-related diseases don't appear suddenly or accidentally without a reason. They appear because apparently they have a role to fulfill. Otherwise, they won't appear. When a parasite or virus identifies a weak organism as part of nature's complexity and wisdom, this disease-causing entity has to fulfill its role, meaning eliminating a weak organism such as a beehive. Once nature succeeds to eliminate a weak organism, this is the point where nature balances itself in terms of weak and healthy. It's an endless process of nature trying to stay in balance. Once nature is in balance, then it nourishes itself in an optimal way. How does nature sustain itself? There are many examples, but let's refer to our subject, the bees. Nature has developed different ways of nourishing insects and flying animals such as birds, wasps, flies, butterflies, bats, and bees. Let me give you some examples of nature nourishing itself. Roots, wood, worms, green plants, flowers, seeds, nectar, and pollen. All are substances that nourish our insects and flying animals. Now what about the human being? Is he part of nature? Of course he is. The difference between mankind and animal kingdom, not to mention the plant world and the mineral realm, is simple. The mineral, plant and animal kingdom don't have a self-consciousness such as human beings have. A human being acts and decides to perform out of his own free will. All other organisms on Earth don't have this consciousness. They are activated or moved by nature. They don't decide to act. Nature's wisdom motivates them to act. This is a very important point. Let me get to the bottom line the Industrial Revolution. That was a critical turning point in terms of our self-consciousness. Since the mid-18th century, machines, chemicals and iron production have taken place. Our ability to rely on nature's wisdom slowly began to decrease. Every time mankind interfered with a natural process in nature, he interfered with the balance and harmony in nature. Nature also has the power and ability to rebalance itself. The colony collapse disorder is a perfect example of nature trying to rebalance itself. Let's start with different diseases and learn their role in nature. Once we know their role, we will see them as a messenger rather than an invader that has to be eliminated. Fungi. Mumis fungus is a fungus that identifies weak eggs and larvae in the honeycomb. 
Its role is to eliminate the brood and eventually recycle the process of death. The way to identify this fungus is by the brood looking like a mosaic, meaning it's not entirely filled. The way to prevent this fungus from appearing in the first place is to work with a natural queen and to avoid feeding concentrated sugar to the bees. Aspergillus. This fungus operates in three different systems of the bee organism. The first one is called Aspergillus fumigatus and attacks the digestive system. Aspergillus flavus attacks the fluid circulation and Aspergillus nigger attacks the immune system. The way to identify this fungus is when the brood becomes dark and fossilized. Bacterium. Penibacillus larva is a bacteria that identifies infected royal jelly that has chemicals, pollution or sick larva in it. Treatment. Avoid placing your hive in polluted areas. Don't throw any chemicals in the hive and work with a natural queen. Streptococcus pluton is similar to Penibacillus larva, but less aggressive. Treatment, same as Penibacillus larva. Viruses. Israeli acute B paralysis virus. This virus was first identified in Israel and is activated when the hive is under stress. The way of identifying this virus is by total collapse of the entire colony, meaning a carpet of dead bees on the floor of the hive. Treatment, don't stress your bees. Parasites. Nozema apis is a parasite that attacks the intestines of adult bees under stress. Normally, this kind of stress occurs when bees are forced to stay in the hive for more than 24 hours continuously while transporting hives, bad nutrition or bad weather. To identify this parasite, it is necessary to call your local bee inspector to collect some bees for laboratory tests. Treatment. Avoid feeding your bees sugar syrup and don't force the bees to remain in the hive. Wax moth is a butterfly that identifies a weak hive and lays their eggs on honeycombs. The eggs are nourished by the wax and honey. They develop through all stages from egg to larva and eventually to an adult butterfly. Treatment. Work with a natural queen to keep your hive strong and vital. Varroa mite was first found in India at 1904. It crawls directly into the cells of the larva that received royal jelly and starts to multiply. Every 30 hours an egg is laid. The first egg will be a male and all the rest females. During the bee's development in her cell, the varroa mite starts to eat her and sucks her blood. The result is bees without wings crawling in the hive. Treatment. Oxalic acid is the best way treating varroa mites. It is necessary to buy a vaporizer for this kind of treatment. The vaporizer can be found at eBay or by Hylisor Technology. Full instructions for use can be found in the introductory leaflet. The optimal treatment is once a week during a month at the end of summer. It could be good as well to plant as much thyme, lavendula or coriander as possible. Bees love all three plants but not the varroa mite. Trochea mite acarapis woody. This is a parasite that invades the lungs of bees lays eggs and starts to nibble the lungs 
until the bees suffocate and die. Treatment, the long-range solution for this parasite, is to work with a natural queen. Let your hive swarm in spring or split the hive in two. Let the hive produce a new, natural and healthy queen.